Here's some notes about uh, OBD2 CNC printed circuit board for when you're assembling it. You can see this one is, uh, I've just finished this one now. Now a couple of things, first of all for J1 I've used a five way screw connector. Now they are quite expensive so I actually recommend uh, that you solder the wires direct to the board for the OBD2 uh, plug connection. Uh, for the ISP connection you must use the sill pins otherwise you won't be able to plug the programmer in. I do recommend you use the four way screw connector for the I squared C connection because that's where we may add some external temperature sensors or other devices. Now when you first plug the board in with the LCD connected there may not be anything on the LCD uh, until you adjust the contrast control which is this uh, pot here. Uh, so you need to adjust that to get uh, the text onto the screen. Once you've adjusted that you shouldn't need to fiddle with it again. The uh, thing to remember is that the switch and the LEDs are on the opposite side of the board. Make sure you get them in the right orientation. The rest of the printed circuit boards are quite simple. Um, I started with the larger components first, and then the resistors. Uh, and then finally the integrated circuits and the transistors. The first thing I always put on the boards is the uh, IC socket. I always find that's a good uh, locator. Uh, double check all your soldering and all the values of the resistors before you plug it in. And before you put the chip into the board, uh, I suggest, without the LCD connected, I suggest you power it up by applying um, 12 volts to the uh, pin 1 and pin 5 on the OBD connector and just check that the right voltages are appearing on the board. So for instance with 12 volts applied here you should have 5 volts between pin 1 and pin 4 here. If that appears correct and nothing's smoking or getting hot then disconnect the power, put in the integrated circuit and connect the LCD. Now looking at the LCD I've uh, just used pins for this so on the back I've soldered a row of sill pins, 16 uh, pins. You can buy this uh, stuff in big lengths and then just break it to suit. So don't solder the LCD onto the uh, printed circuit board until, you're fine, until you've done any testing you want to do. Now I was talking about the uh, gap and the little uh, feet on the back of the LCD. You'll see these little black uh, protrusions where the LCD cover is held on. Now you just need to stick some little piece of foam on the, each of those so that when it's mounted on the board like so that they don't contact the uh, circuits on the bottom of the board so just a small piece of foam. You can see that's a very nice uh, close fit there and so when you've finally done any uh, testing and assembly and checked everything then finally solder the LCD uh, to the printed circuit board and obviously by soldering along these pins here. Once you've done that, obviously it's going to be very difficult to remove, so you need to make sure it's a all tickety be before then. You can actually uh, program the pick before you uh, finally connect the LCD to the board or power it up, because the pick will get its power from the programmer, which goes on here. So you can program the pick without the LCD connected. So, as I say, check everything, double check everything, then finally attach the LCD and you should be, able, should be all systems go. Right, so that's the printed circuit board. I don't think there are any other significant issues. As I mentioned, just check polarity for everything, double check all your connections, try to avoid any dry joints, etc. And you can see how it all uh, fits together. There will be some uh, little 3mm spaces that go in the gaps where the screw holes are, so that uh, once the board's all assembled you can screw it together and then you can use uh, some printed circuit board standoffs uh, for uh, in the holes to uh, mount it to a suitable box which obviously we need to uh, source at the moment. That's it for the minute, I'll uh, give you another video shortly on the OBD2 plug and the wiring.